the PlayStation 5 potentially not having uh, smart delivery is a major fail on the part of Sony. And if and if PS5 fans are settling for that, you know, you, you reap what you sow there. Um, I'm reading an article here where, according to Sony, they plan on making it, quote unquote, as flexible as possible when it comes to upgrading and yet there's no dedicated smart delivery program xbox and microsoft says it straight up when you buy a game especially first party and even some major third party games like assassin's creed valhalla and cyberpunk hey you buy it on xbox it automatically upgrades to the series x you don't need to pay more but look, Sony's about to sell remasters to y'all. Uh, they're about to pull the smoke and mirrors on you, and and you know if if you're a PS if you're a PS5 fan, you know how are you not upset that Madden 21, for example, won't be able to upgrade to PS5 like like it will for Xbox, and then for Xbox it works both physical physical and digital so it doesn't matter so xbox supports your choices you know they're letting your controllers and accessories for the xbox one easily move over to next gen um you know uh so you know uh, I'm very, very happy with Xbox going forward. I love most of what they did this gen outside of some hiccups. And it looks like they're about to take next generation gaming to a whole new level. If you don't believe by now Xbox Series X is where the innovation is, I don't know what to say. You know, the writing is on the wall. It's all there right in front of your eyes. It's a major win.